So today we'll just do the uh, sketching thing, sketching, a sketching exercise. We're going to do bags today. And, uh, and then I'll just review the homework on my own and send you an email or something like some. Did I even check? Did I give you grades? Did I do the homework last week? We'll just have a quick look. I'll recognize it. And then we'll just get started because I might have some catching up to do. Um, just bear with me one sec. Hey, and so I'm going to go digital if that's cool with you. Yeah. So everyone's cool with digital. It's not like everyone has some sort of digital device. Who just came in? So who was it that just came in? Anthony. Sorry, my um, computer died. Oh, you just came back in. All right, all right then. Okay, cool. Steve, I got, Steve, can I get you? You were in the early one. So, okay, I'm just gonna double check. Um, Jana, you're not here, are you? No? And then finally, Greg. Greg, are you in here? I don't see you. Okay, and Monica. No, she's she's not here. Camille. Okay, no Camille. All right then. Fair enough. I'll just get started. Okay, bags. So I'm gonna do a few thumbnails. I've got some inspirational bags here that I'm gonna basically kind of use as an inspiration. I'll, I'll share with you my screen in a sec, so you can see. Um, something a little bit different because I'm normally quite producty, but this time I'm gonna try to go a little bit more fashion. And uh, do you have a preference whether it's iPad or Photoshop? Nikki, what do you prefer, Photoshop or iPad? Nikki, what do you prefer, um, Photoshop or iPad? Oh, um, uh, I guess you could alternate. Sure, okay, that sounds good. Okay, let's just do that, that's nice. Okay, great. Okay then, I'm gonna start, I, I don't need to ask everyone because I'll alternate. So we'll do some a couple of 15 minute blasts of thumbnails and then we're gonna take that thumbnail and start to develop it. Maybe we can use the rest of the class on it. Maybe that'd be a nice piece of homework. Um, so I'm gonna share my screen. So you can see my bag that I'm gonna be influenced by. Forgot how to, I'm, I'm, I must be crazy because I forgot how to screen share. Here we go. Desktop. There we go. Okay. So I've got a few bags here. I think I'm going to go for something along the lines of this soft one. This very soft one because I haven't done many soft bags. This looks like it's kind of North American Indianish. I don't know. But um, so I'm going to try. I'm going to do this bag. So this is, these are going to be my influences. These two. So I'm just going to have them blown up in front of me so I can kind of use them as inspiration. Okay, this is gonna be a, ch a challenge for me because normally I'm doing like stiff, stiff stuff, but this is a really soft, supple bag. And I think I'm gonna get warmed up on the iPad and then I'll move into Photoshop and do some more thumbnails. So let me see if I can actually share Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop sharing for a sec because I need to set up, get both iPad and my inspiration together on the same page so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, you know, I'm gonna turn on share as well uh, for multiple participants. So if anyone wants to share what they're doing as well, um, if you're doing it straight off the computer, then that could be very convenient. Okay, I'm sh my desktop should be shared. And so you can see my bag influence stuff right here. 
and then I should be able to share my iPad also if I go to, if you are a Mac, if you go to QuickTime and go to new movie recording. Okay, there's some movie recording. And then if I, this little sucker right here, I can change it to my iPad. Um, MacBook Pro, normally, entertainment room. Uh, hold on. Normally it allows this. FaceTime, entertainment room. Okay, I'm going to just try, I'm going to turn this quick time off and just try one more time. movie recording and then it should hook into my iPad. All right, one more attempt. I'm gonna unplug my iPad and replug it in. Maybe that does it. Because I did this already before. Oh, there's my iPad. Okay, there. Cool. Oh, let's go to the gallery. Start a fresh one. Oh, I want, I want to get back to the very beginning. Go. Screen size. It's just the default screen size. Okay, blank sheet of paper. What's really fun, by the way, if you're sketching, whether it's on computer or iPad or Photoshop, what's really fun, instead of having a white, <laughs> a white background, what adds a little spice to your drawing is if you um, change the background color. So in, with the iPad, in this case, is this change the background color. So I'm gonna choose a kind of a color similar to the, um, the bag, so kind of a tan, tan-ish color. The tan's kind of, in this world, it's a little bit desaturated, a little bit more orange, more, a little, a little more yellow, but it's getting green. So let me just, there we go. That looks pretty good. Okay, cool. So here's another little tip. Just, do you know how I'm always drawing the suns and stuff? Like, oh, I'm seeing my light sources here and stuff. Um, I'm not doing that actually for you. I am doing it for you, but also for me to remind me where light is coming from because I need a constant reminder. But if you don't want to draw that little sun, here's a cool little thing. So on a new layer, I'm going to just do a simple swash of uh, airbrush where the darkness is coming from. So let me find an airbrush right down here. And increase size so it's really massive. And just down here, I'm going to put just a little bit of darkness. It's a little too harsh. Let me just not make it so harsh. This is a, kind of a subtle thing, but anyway, there, a little dark on that side. And then a little bit of white on the other side. So it, it just kind of gives a subtle background. And it, it reminds me of where the light is instead of drawing the sun always. So that's, I'm going to sketch on that. I'll make a new layer. Okay, but before I start sketching and before you guys start sketching, I'm going to put on a timer. So we can all see the time. Oh, by the way, so this is the YouTube channel. And so it was just like shoes for these last few videos. This bag was very producty. Did a few bags. Oh, but you know what? Some of this is actually also um, Viscom. So, but anyway, a lot of shoes, little hardware. So not many bags. So let's definitely do a bag. All right. So that's just that's just as a visual reminder for me uh, what I need to do. Anyway, so I'm gonna go timer. Try to find a little timer. Come on, baby. There we go. Let's say 15 minutes. And a 
Okay, we'll start. Move this down here. Okay, well, anyway, I'm starting. There's a timer down at the bottom if you need. Okay. So when, when I'm sketching on, on something like this kind of color stuff, I like to use a white pencil, which is kind of fun. So I'm gonna, and not a pencil, I, I guess I like studio pens, my favorite. So I'm gonna use studio pen, test it out. It looks cool and I'm gonna use white. And so when I'm sketching this stuff, I like to turn down the opacity so I can really build up and go light to start with. Get a little bit thicker, but to really turn it, turn down the opacity so it's not too loud because I wanna to try to stay as free as possible not be stuck with these hard, solid lines. And let me stick on some tunes as well. I hope you don't hear it. Can you, can you hear my music? I hope not. No, nope, good, good, okay, cool. I'm drawing. Ah, uh, okay. So I'm going for the soft bag. Even though I'm doing soft bag, I still start off with geometric shapes. I guess it's just a habit, but I'm gonna try to unstiffen it. Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna go super fast like this. I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna go. Making it very wavy. Um, I'll just put in some temporary stitches. Because I kind of like on the back that I'm influenced by on the right, I like those rivets, but I don't want to rip it too bad. So I don't know. I'll try to figure something out. I really like how they have this attachments where the strap is attached. So I'm gonna to try to do something like that. Um, erase out a few little lines I don't need. This is behind. Hardware. Um, and some strap. I like it how it goes in front of the bag. I'm going to make a new layer in case I screw up the strap. And then some hardware stuff. I don't know what the hardware is going to be yet. Okay, that's one thumbnail. I'll try another one now. Another softy. No one at floppy. mistake there so and this time I'm going to do let's 
just put in some sort of stitching stuff. I don't know what that's going to be yet. I don't know what this is yet. Um, some hardware. Can I just do hardware, just loose? I just do a little squiggles like like that. I'm gonna try to put, I'm gonna try to get this bag, I'm gonna cut it out so I can fit it on the page. Cut and paste. Two bags. I'm gonna flatten it now. I'm gonna flatten these, just merge down because too many layers can get really confusing. I've kind of got a couple of bags. Okay. I'm going to go into another layer and I'm going to go flat this time, but really loose and light. Let's just test it. Maybe even lighter than that. Honestly, I've got no clue what I'm drawing yet. I'm just going to wing it because this is out of my comfort zone. to start doing some simple shading. I'll start doing the same here in the other bag. Shade that in. Okay. So I'm just using the black to kind of put in shadows. These look like sacks of potatoes, <laughs> bags. Shoot. 
shoot, we only have like five minutes left. So I'm just putting in some shadows where the wrinkles are. A nice way to do these type of shadows is just don't, you know, just kind of do some shading without any definition. Okay, so we only have like four minutes left, so we can get cranky. Basically, I'm just highlighting the darkening the, in the areas where it's super dark, like inside the bag. I'm just going underneath where the shadowy stuff would be. minutes. The shadows here and there. Only a minute left, guys. Forty seconds. I'm gonna do highlights now. White. A new layer. So highlights are above the shadows. That's it.
Well, as everyone just woke up, I guess this was a, a warm up for everyone, huh? You want another 15 minutes on this? You want to start a new sketch? Another 15 minutes? Can we just keep on doing it? Like, just, yeah. just like keep on drawing? All right, then let's For like another drawing. 15. Sure, sure, sure. Yep. Thank you, Steve. I think I'm going to put one more bag in here. So I'm going to flatten all of this, except for my highlights of the white and black. But I'm going to merge all those together, just cut them out and start to arrange them on my page a little bit nice. Try to make it nice because I'm going to squeeze in another bag in there. Cut and paste automatically puts it onto a new layer. This one should be okay. I'm do another bag. Another softy. I'll put a strap on here, but I'm going to make a new layer for this because I don't know how it's going to work. Yet. I'll merge it down because it's a little too confusing with layers, too many layers. At least I can see my levels, or at least I can see my. Um, cut things out where they need to be cut out. Start a new layer, start putting reflections. And how I do these type of wrinkles, wherever I have a surface that kind of faces upward, like this, that's where I put in my shade. Make a new layer and I'll start filling in the inside, 
inside the back. Put on a new layer because I can just go over everything, the strap and everything. Just erase that later. I can just erase this out. I'll put it on a layer. Straps in front. Make a new layer down here because I'm just going to erase out some stuff I know after. So I'm just kind of preparing for when I have to erase out. So it's on this layer so I can erase this stuff out. Just flatten it down. Push down. Uh, I'm gonna try to do another bag. Guy up. I'll just do another back. New layer. I'm going to strap on this. Oh, I know. 
a hole in here. Something sticks. inside of the back. A new layer, you know, shading in. That's all I want to erase out some parts. Some white highlights now. Go in a new layer. Yeah, you can really get away with murder if you uh, just do these kind of cross hatches. It's not exactly random, but inside the bag, just kind of add some. That's something. There's some logic behind it, but not that much. Fake it till you make it.
Move this bag out of the way. Should all be on one layer. I'm gonna merge it all down. Merge down, merge down. So I've got three bags now. It's just arranged it nicely. There we go. Let's do another one. I'm still working on that. Just trying to arrange it a little bit. A little smaller. <clears throat> uh, so do you guys want another, you want to continue on the same drawing? Because I could tweak mine out a little bit if you guys are cool with continuing on the same drawing. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. Do a little bit more. Yeah, okay, great. I'll do another 15 minutes. I'm going to put a background behind each of these bags, pop them off the page. So I'm going to choose a brown or something, make it very, I'm on a new layer. I'm going to go full blast. And it's going to be obnoxious, but the thing is, I will build, turn it, I'll be able to turn it down on my layers after, but it'll make it a lot easier to just color it, just a lot of color. Because now it looks really obnoxious right now, but I will be able to just adjust the layers, the layer. I'll do the same with all the bags, but let's just if I take that down just a wee, I mean a fair amount, I'll pop it off. There we go. I'll do that with all the bags. All on the same layer, so they're all consistently the same. Which is pretty fun, just getting out of your comfort zone. Don't even know what to expect.
So my brush is all full blast, by the way, but I'm just on a layer that is very uh, low opacity. But as I say, it keeps it consistent. Do everything that same color, darkness. I'll do a new layer. I'm going to fill it all in. Uh, I'm going to just fill in the in internals. Just a lot of color. Turn those down. So I have the internal internals internals of the bag here. Um, and if you turn on a thing called alpha lock, you'll be able to do some nice little shadings. So it only affects the pixels. So let me show you. This is the internals of the bag. Alpha lock. Turn on and off just to make sure. So on alpha lock, if I go black and then I go to airbrush, I should make the airbrush a little smaller, a little bit more powerful. So it'll kind of give it a little darkness. Okay, to pop the bags off, so I colored them all in this brown. I were to crank this up full power, but just change the color. So it's now full power, stands off of the page, but I'm just going to adjust the color and go to this little magic wand thing here. It's all on that layer. 
oh sorry, this is the right layer. If you brighten the saturation, if I brighten it up, oh it's pink. So with that, I'm going to go a different color. Let me just try to find a more browny type color. Oh, blue's kind of cool. See blue, that would complement the background. Turn down the saturation so it turns grayish. Break it up a little bit. No, I think I'm going to go back to brown. Try to find brown. Brown. Okay. I don't know if brown. Brown. Turn the saturation down. Turn this up. But now it turns gray. I don't understand. Just gonna go black on everything. Very light. Just start darkening up some areas.
So are you are you guys sketching on your computers? Or are you sketching on paper? Jacob, you're sketching on paper? Yeah. Good enough. I'll stop sharing. Jake, were you, were you, were you going to share something with me or? Oh, um, I can. Yeah. I didn't know you want me to. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is what I was working on. That's sweet, man. That's a nice. That's a nice set right there. Very cool. Thank you. Yeah. Very, very nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. Who else wants to share? Really curious about anyone who's on the computer. <clears throat> Nikki. <laughs> Nikki, do you want to? Can you share your what you did? Did you see me? Mm -hmm. Oh. The first 15 minutes I made this like triangle origami bag. Cool, right. And so the strap is part of the um the gus the gus is yeah. the strap. Oh right, very nice, very nice. Yeah. And then the second 15 minutes. Made more of like a uh, normal bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Nice, Nikki. So those were your three three sessions. Okay, hey, Cameron, you want to share or Anthony, Steve, Michaela. Yeah, I can share. I just have to send it to myself real quick. Yeah, yeah, send it. It'd be great if you could share it on your computer. That'd be even better. Michaela, do you want to share your thing, or did you did you pump out anything? Um, I'm kind of in the middle of one right now. Okay, we'll keep on working on it. Then, if you want. Lauren, you want to share? Do you want to do you want to share your sketches, thumbnails, or whatever they are? Uh, yeah, I can. I just have mine on paper. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I just did a crossbody bag. It's green, and then I had a pages of thumbnails or. Crappy, just a bunch of different ones. 
Nice, nice, Lauren. I think that looks that's cool. That's definitely nice. Green one. So why are you drawing with paper and pencil right now, Lauren? Or is it because you don't have the digital stuff set up or, or have it? Um, I don't have an iPad. I use my mom's and she has it right now. Oh, I get it. I get it. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, those are very nice. Thanks. Okay. Who else wants right, to share? I can share mine now. Okay. Yes, please. And then I'm still working on mine, mm -hmm. but this is what I have right now. That's cool, man. That's definitely nice. Nice, nice, very rich type of rendering. It looks it looks like a very nice bag. Just super clean. Okay. You like the edgy stuff, don't you? I really do. <laughs> yeah. So what are you thinking about the end? The uh the yeah, the end. What's what what are the shapes in there? Right here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, I was just going to make it like pure black mm -hmm. leather right there. Um, and then up here at the top, that's where like the strap kind of goes through and it kind of pulls the bag together. Ah, interesting. Because, uh, the straps detach in the front mm -hmm. to open the bag. Well, do you want to continue working on this bag? Because it looks like you're on a good way. Why, why do something different? Yeah, I, I kind of want to just keep on working on this one. All right, then, fair enough. Cool. Thanks, Steve. That's nice. Who else, guys? Who else? Go ahead and volunteer for me. Uh, uh, Cameron, did you show me? Show me your, show me your stuff. Please. Cameron, can you hear me? Oh, yeah, sorry. Very good. Um, hey, Cameron, can, can you show me? Yeah, or are you in? I was actually okay. uh, drawing a shoe. Mm -hmm. All right, then. Well, while you do that, how about Michaela? Oh, just, oh, you're ready. You're ready. You're ready. Sorry, my bad. I just did like a. Okay. Um, and then I was working on this one. Um, I don't know if I had it. I still have to like kind of change it up though from the reference photo, but. That's my shape. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's my shape. It's more, that's an athletic shoe, isn't it? Or are you going fashiony with it? I haven't decided yet. Probably more fashion. That that second one you showed it was was actually way nicer than the first one. The first one was a little bit weird with yeah. shape. Yeah. Do you want to continue working on those things? Yeah, I might. I might start a bag though, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then as you wish. Anthony, let's see what you came up with. Um, so I just have like one thumbnail. I was just about to get into the uh into the um the 3D rendering or the 3D model. I just started the template down there, but uh, yeah, okay. that's all I have right now. It's that's cool, nice. man. That's good. It's it's, uh, it's nice. It's a it's a soft bag, isn't it? Obviously, yeah, because you like made soft, thin bag. Yep. Very nice. Hey, your your major is product design, isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Anthony. So, come on, Michaela. What about you? Kayla, you want to share anything? You can nod yes or no. I think maybe you're frozen. Yeah, <laughs> That's she's all right. Frozen me. She's frozen. Did I did I take one out? So did I leave anyone out? All right. So hey, um, what what are you feeling? Do you want to continue with your drawing, or do you want to get into another page to start development, or do it all on the same page? I'm probably going to start a new one. Yeah, I think I am too. 
So hey, Jacob, you don't you don't have the digital stuff or? No, I don't. I don't have any. Uh, I don't have an iPad. Oh okay. All right. As long as you're you're good with that, the marker stuff. Yeah. And it looks like you are. I mean, actually, no. What what did you use? Because that was black and white. What what was that? I used. Um, so I used. I originally drew with pencil. Then I um outlined it with a micron. Mm -hmm. And I have this kind of uh, this micron like brush that I use right. for the uh, the line thickness. And then mm -hmm. I've just been shading with this like gray marker. All right, kind fair enough. Dried out, and it um kind of grabs this marker and kind of blends this the black from this marker to create some cool looks. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Sometimes. Uh do you find it not annoying sometimes when it blends, or are you uh, um, work with it? I think that the markers dry enough um, that I really kind of have to force it. But I think if the marker was more new, maybe it would like give me some trouble sometimes. It'd bleed a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest that uh, you would, if you continue on that bag that you're working on. So you have like you know thumbnails, and then if you want to go to the next stage and do some development. Okay. I guess I'll do some development as well. Uh, Lauren, I've seen everything except for Michaela. But Michaela, if you don't want to share, I can understand. <laughs> it's nice to see a smiley face. You don't, you don't want to share, do you, Michaela? Is that what you're not giving me any? Um, I don't have any that are finished, but I can show you what I have currently. Yeah, please. Hey, did you change your hair color? Yeah. Yeah, that looks cool. That looks really nice. Thank you. Yeah. Um, Explain so me. I started with this one and then decided I hated it, so I started another one instead. Um, so this is the one I'm working on right now. I'm gonna oh, that's make nice. It yeah, it's just nice and clean, isn't it? I good proportions. It's 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 a little it's a little stiff, but not it's a little floppy as well isn't it? Yeah. Looks like. I mean, it's not a total stiff bag, is it really? It's a little bit, I don't know what you call it, yeah. floppy? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. keep on. Yeah, so which one are you, yeah. which one? Zoom in on those little guys, on those little ones on the corner. All right, and you hated it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pretty strong. All right, so which one are you gonna develop? This one here? Um, Perfect. And you didn't trace that one, did you? No. Awesome, you guys are getting really, really good. I'm so happy, because all of you are doing some nice, nice looking stuff. That is really, really great. Okay, then choose one of your bags or your bag and let's start developing it. I'll, I'll do it with you. And I guess we could break this down into, what's the time, 9.50? Hey, I'm, let's have a little break. I'm gonna go grab a drink. Drink a vodka, I mean, sorry, um, water. Yeah, if you need some wake up, make yourself a coffee or get yourself a whatever. Or just continue on your stuff.
So I'm just going to continue on. You guys can do as you wish. I'm just going to highlight my favorite. Kind of having a break and drawing at the same time. Okay, so I learned this feature on this iPad, which is kind of cool. Which is, I don't know exactly how it works, but so what I'm going to do is, if you don't want to ruin your, your, your sketches, then I, I go to select. I'm in my uh, gallery right now, of course. I select this and I'm going to duplicate it. So now I have one that I can grab and do what I want with it. So, for example, I'm going to flatten it. This is a very convenient thing if you're on iPad, by the way. Click on one layer and then drag right to all the others. And it'll flatten it. Well, uh, do that and then group. So now it's all grouped. So, all those groups. So all my bags are grouped up, and I'm going to flatten this. So if I click on that, I flatten it. So now it's just all flattened one layer, but I still have the other one duplicate I made, just in case. So now with this one, I can erase out all the other erase out, or I'm just going to cut them all out. Oop, I don't want a rectangle. Just go freehand, cut out all this stuff. Cut and with my bag here, and move this over here, and then my thumbnail's there. So now I can start sketching that bag. Let me see if I can change the color a little bit of that. Thank you. 
I'm working with. I guess I'll do front view, side view, or top view. Top view is interesting because it has this uh, kind of weird shape. So I'm going to start off with the top view. New layer. With brown. Actually, I like to work with black and white. It's easier. So I'm going to go black. Do some pasting. I'm going to choose my, one of my favorite brushes, Studio Pen. Too dark. Okay, that's a little better. A little too dark. So, front view, top view of me. I'm going to do side view underneath it. Maybe a little bit 3D. I'm going to try to make it look soft by not by taking away these hard edges and make them a little softer. Hardware in there. Uh, 
Show the hardware top view. Just loose. I'll try to try to do a strap that looks kind of okay ish. I'm using layers to fill in the inside of this bag. I'm going to go brown, full blast, because I'm on a new layer. So I can easily just turn it down after and erase out stuff. New layer. Shadow underneath the strap, give it that 3D.
city hall. So let's turn up our music. So how are you guys getting on? You doing good, Jacob? Yeah, I'm doing good. I was basically just uh, making a more detailed version of the bag. I was just really trying to get in there and like get stuff clean. Yep. Hey, be careful. You know how you put that uh, the dark line in yeah. um, around some areas? Just do, it, just do it in the under parts where it's going to be like dark and shady and shadowy, you know? Okay. But anyway, it's looking good. Did you fill up? Could you show me that again? Oh, nice. So you basically filled up a page, more or less. Oh, you got on mute. Oh, I said my sketchbook is pretty small, though. Oh, really? It's not like letter size. Yeah, it's a pretty small sketchbook. I can still fit normally, like three thumbnails on it, though. So that leftover space you have on that page, put in like some, fill it up really nicely, like put in some details, hardware or snap, you know, any hardware or any details you want to do. So just make that page nice and full. That'd be really nice. Okay. And, and, and you have an advantage because it's a smaller sketchbook. Lauren, what about you? Um, I just went over the other one I showed you, and then I did uh, another view, but. Oh, nice, okay. Yeah. yeah. Just another one. Just a minor thing, you probably would already know this, um, Lauren, but inside the bag where you can see it open, make that mm -hmm. darker. Yeah, I'm doing it right now. I okay, you know. Pencil, yeah. And are you working on letter size paper? Or is this your sketchbook? Yeah, this is letter size. Letter size. Oh, it's a sketchbook. Great. Yeah, as you do, um, fill up all those little areas around your bag with nice details and stories or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you know that already. Okay, Steve, let's see what you got going on. All right, hold on. This is the old one. All right, so I was kind of just working on the other bag then, mm -hmm. uh, like the other view. Mm -hmm. um, and then I still have to add a little bit more detail on it. Cool, what are you working on? Are you working on Pro uh, Procreate or Photoshop? Oh uh, yeah, Procreate. Okay, nice. So you want to continue on with this, with this bag? Yeah. Okay, hey, so you know you have the empty spaces around your bags and sketches. Increase the size of your money shots, which are the two rendered ones, and then fill up all around your sketch with little details, little hardware pieces, or if you want to get detailed in the feet, or yeah, the feet. You know, just just fill it up with lots of little things like that, so right. it's nice and full. All right. Okay. Great, Steve. And Michaela. Oh, nice. Um, so I'm shading right now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so, oh, you're, you're doing a Photoshop. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, here's, here's a secret. And this goes for everyone. When you're doing the strokes, like you're putting this white highlight around, try to do them nice, long, solid strokes. Because it looks like you're kind of, kind of a little bit scratching it a little bit. No? Yeah. So that'll just make them look way nicer just if you can try to do them one stroke. I'm gonna get on the Photoshop next. So um, I can kind of demonstrate perhaps. But mm -hmm. hey, that's a really nice looking bag. Hey, okay, I got a question. So it's kind of like a quilted type thing a little bit, but it, am I right? Um, well, it was supposed to be kind of like fuzzy. Like, <laughs> I don't know, there's like a certain material I'm thinking of that I can picture, but I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't look fuzzy to me, but it still looks like a nice looking bag clean. Um, and is there piping? Because you started to put two white lines around the corner. Is that a piping? Yeah. Okay. 
So what's what's if you're doing piping, just choose a brush that's bigger, like you know, real piping size, and just do it one stroke instead of doing you did two lines instead, just do one line. And if you wanted a pop color, so you know, if you wanted to do it blue or something, but do you know what I mean? Just one line to do the piping, just a yeah. bit of a fatter, fatter brush. Okay. But hey, you're getting everyone's improving so nicely, and so are you. It's really, really cool. I mean, you're getting into the nitty gritty of the how how the hardware fits around the leather or the materials. Showing it's it's really coming nice. Don't forget a shadow as well. Okay. Yeah, let's continue. Hey, and uh, I was gonna say, fill up around your your sketch with other little details, like I don't know what details. So you've got some pretty normal. O rings, I guess, right now, but you can make them a little bit spicier by putting a logo on or I don't know, something like that. Okay. Okay, great. Thanks, Michaela. I'm going to hop on to Photoshop as well because Nikki, oh, Nikki's already out of here. Okay, anyway, Nat, um, Anthony. Okay, say something so I can see you big. If you say something, then I can see you big. My uh, mic was off. Sorry about that. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Just basically, I'm going to perspective sketch. I'm trying to make it so it's not like so straight lines, but my lines just kind of look like messy. Because if I make it look too straight, it just looks like a box. Totally, totally. I, I want to show you. I want to show you how to do um, shadows on that thing. Can you send me a? Can Can you send that to me? Yeah, I can. Yeah, and I'm going to show everyone how to do these random shadows. You know, if you have a very floppy, loose bag, and there's a theory behind it. It's not just random. There's 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 a theory behind it. So I'm going to demonstrate it on on Anthony's sketch when he sends it to me. So who did I miss, Cameron? I'm I'm still working on mine. It's okay. Do you want to show us work in progress, or do you really don't? Um, no. Okay. All right. All right. I know exactly how you feel. I hate it when my, well, I don't, I don't hate a lot of things, but I'd really dislike it when my wife says, Hey, can I, can I see your, see your drawing or anyone for that matter? When my clients say, uh, Brooke, can you send us what you got? I'm like, Oh no, because I feel like everything's got to be good. And I hope they're open-minded and I'll say, all right, but Hey, don't expect too much. Um, okay, let's see. I think we got everyone. Jacob, we set you up. So, um, hey, Anthony, whenever, the, are you set, trying to send it to me now? Yeah, I'm sending it. I'm going to send it to your email. I just have to okay. log in. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I'm going to get my self situated. And I'm going to do some Photoshop. But this was, the Photoshop was for Nikki. But um, she's gone. But you, uh, Michaela, you worked on Photoshop as well, so it's totally good. Um, share my screen. Okay, there's my screen. Okay, well, I just here, here, here's my drawing and. These shadows that I have around are not random. And I'm just going to give you a description to tell you why I did them like they were. So if there is a strategy behind it. And I'll try to explain it with words and see if you can kind of understand what I'm trying to say. So, okay, so I drew these, 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 these lines. So I'm going to go red so you can really clearly see what I'm talking about. Let's find red. One red, red, new layer. So, okay, I have these shapes here, right here. And, it, and it, so my sunlight is coming from over here, okay? And so when I do these shapes, so this shape here is going to be in shadow. And then over here, this part's going to be in shadow as well. So that's why I kind of shaded this a little bit. But notice how my line starts to get its, its shadow in here. When I'm doing my side, it's shadow in here, but it's, it's light up here. So that's why I, sh I started shading this with a very gentle airbrush because it's slightly diving under. Same here. So slightly dives under here. 
And so that's why I shaded that area. But notice this this piece here, I'll go blue for the um, for the reflection part. Let's go blue. So this part is diving up, you know, so the sun would be hitting it and reflecting. And so that's why I gave it a little bit of white in here. So once again, let's go back to red so for the shadow. It starts to dive under a little bit here, a little bit dive into the into the shadows here. Uh, so that's why I, I did a little bit of shading in here with the dark. Um, oh, okay. And so back to the light. Let's go blue. So this piece, this this curve is 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 more reflective because you know the sunlight would be hitting it from above, and that's why I gave it a little bit of airbrush here. So that's the theory behind how I shade it. Same here. So my sunlight is on this side. So this surface is is theoretically the sunlight's hitting it there. But if we go, and then this is the shadow side. And so the, the curve is kind of going in the shadow. That's why I kind of shaded it shadowy here. Um, back to blue, which is the sun side. So right here, I gave this reflection because this part is kind of kicking up towards the, the sun. And also here, here's, here's another line that um, it's kind of kicking up. So that's why I gave that shadow, I mean, uh, um, not shadow, but reflection and down all under here was all shade. So that's the theory behind these little tiny little curves, how I'm shading it. And so I hope to be able to demonstrate that a little bit with Anthony's. Have you sent it to me yet? Yeah, I just sent it to your email. Great, 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 great. So does, does that, does that kind of make sense about the, the shadow and light there a little bit? Yeah. Good, good. So it looks random, but it's not. So I'm going to share my screen. Oh, no, I'm already sharing. Let's go into Anthony's drawing, send it through email. Okay, um, this is CCS email. Inbox. Inbox. Oh, back sketch, Anthony. Okay. Okay, great. Download. And oh, it's downloading. Let me just say Anthony so I remember. I'm just going to say why. I don't know. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, let me go to my downloads and I'll open it in Photoshop. Downloads. Just a little bit to refresh. Come on, downloads. Refresh for me. Come on, where are you? Oh, uh, where's the refresh? Where's your drawing, Anthony? <clears throat> download. Maybe it didn't download. Send off. Oh, it's in a different file. Okay, I understand. Uh, download. Desktop. Downloads. Okay, there we go. It's going to go in the right place now. Okay, save downloads. All right. Now it should be here. There we go. Um, okay, so Anthony, so let me. S this is this is quite a uh, it's quite a loose bag, isn't it? There's there's not a lot of structure in this, is there? Yeah, I just want it to be. I wanted it to be like really flimsy, really thin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Firstly, um, nice lines. Very nice lines. It's very attractive. It's a nice looking bag, but when you're doing your lines. Do them because even though it's a very floppy bag, they don't flop this much. Okay. So I'd be a little bit more subtle about it. So let me take I'm gonna get a brush and put it on a new layer. And let's just choose this guy. Opacity. I'm gonna turn up my pace to about 20 so I can so but when you're doing this, try to make them kind of 
Oh, let's just increase it even more. This is, you can barely see it. Oh, and also maybe you should do the same. Try, try to you know, build up. So it's here. Here, let me let me just give you an example quickly. So if I have it turned down, really, then you know you do stuff, and then you can add. So you can keep adding stuff where it needs it. So that's why I, I go about like twenty percent, twenty five percent. Okay, but let me just show you the theory behind this floppy bag. I'm gonna turn yours down just a wee bit. Um, it's down a little bit. Sorry, I need to make a layer underneath that's gonna have solid color white. Okay, so your bag's a little bit lighter now. So make the curves a little bit. So, okay, come, oh, let's just go in a new one. Something like that, and this one's going to be a little bit more like that. And this this looks okay, but just a little bit more. Okay, so now I can start rendering it. Let's give this background a little bit of color. Um, let's see, is this where it's done? Just a little bit of shade because this is how you can easily shade it it's once you put a little color back there it automatically half shades everything You're just adding blacks and whites so i'm just going to stick with that black and white increase my brush and i'm going to go really airbrush soft 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 so here this is white to me because sun's coming over here by the way this is where the sun's coming from. so it's going to be a little bit here and here, because it's poking out a wee bit here. Um, here it's poking out just a smallest fraction, just a wee bit. Here, it's down at the bottom, it's coming out again. A um, little bit more here, because that is all going to be attracting light right there too. Okay, and now I'm going to go with another layer. Very light shading, by the way, 25, 25%. So now I'm going to just, in fact, go even lighter because this is really subtle stuff. So I'm gonna go even lighter down to about 10-ish. Start putting that in. There's a little bit under here because the curve is slightly like that. And down here, definitely a little bit one in here because the curve is going in there a little bit. And I don't know, this one looks like it might be going downwards. <laughs> um, okay, just a little bit more white. Let's go X white. Because it looks like we might be having a piece in here. Okay, and now just to erase it out, so I'm going to go hard eraser, completely hard, completely 100%. And let's see what it looks like. Uh, let's go 100%. So let's, oh, uh, sorry, eraser, come on, E for eraser there. Okay, good. Try to do long strokes when you're doing stuff I, in an ideal world. And get inside that bag, inside there, because that's a, it's going to be a different color. And I'm just going to go on this outside piece. Just erase out all that. And in here as well. Down here too. Okay, it's a little, the whites are a little too obnoxious, so I'm just going to turn this down just a wee bit. And there, that's 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 quite fine. I inside inside the bag, I'm going to give it. A, I'm going to go full blast with a black because I'm on a new layer, 100% and black, it's 100%, but it's gonna to be too obnoxious, but I'll deal with it later. So here. I'll fill it up with the paint bucket. Okay, just fill up all those little areas. And now turn this down. So just as a little more uniform, this side, let's do this side now. Since my sunlight is coming from up here, 
this is all going to be pretty shady, but let's just do another rendering session. So new layer, super soft airbrush. So brush right here, super soft. Let's just reiterate this. We are gonna make it darker, but okay. So this part is, is hitting the sun. Oop, so let's just go white and turn this stuff way down because it's very subtle, this stuff. About 15-ish. That's white. This is white. Maybe down here, I don't know yet. And then let's do the black stuff, which is a little bit right in here. And here, a little bit just along here. Because I don't know why, because it's going inside the cave a little bit. And now I'll just erase it with a hard eraser. First thing I'm going to start with this side. Down here. Around here. And let's turn that down because it's a little bit too loud. It's a little bit. Okay, so there we go. Now, finally, I know you're going to do this, Anthony, but um, I'll do it for you. <laughs> um, in here, let's just get, I'm going to go 100% black because I'm going to put a shadow underneath the strap. I'm going 100% black. Uh, I'm going to go hard brush. And And so since I'm 100% black, okay, you can see it's a, oh, I need to all 100%, everything 100%. I went hard. There we go. Let's just test it. Yep, it works. So look, it's, you can see it's 100% black, 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 black. But if I turn down my layer, then I can keep it well consistent. So that's, that's fine for me. Now I'm going to just start putting in the shadows. And now I don't have to worry about like weird weirdnesses with colors overlapping and stuff because you have transparency on here and then and I'll just erase out all the bad stuff. So I'm gonna go 100% eraser, 100, 100 and Make sure it's not soft. Wait, wait, 100% eraser. It looks hard. There, it is hard. And there. Let's just go in there and just get this nasty part. Um, my cursor's all screwed up. I was playing with the Photoshop preferences recently. There, a little bit in here. I forgot a little bit in there. Let's see here. I went into some areas which I shouldn't have. It's good enough. And then underneath your ring. Underneath your ring here. Also here, I forgot about this one. Maybe just a little bit under here as well because it is a bit shadowy underneath there. And now with the detailed uh, eraser. I'm going to get in there and just erase out all those parts. Oop. And here, it doesn't have to be perfect because it is a sketch. So, okay, there's that. Of course, let's erase all this. All right, so here's, here's another little thing you're, you're going to do. So, you have the stitching detail. This is going to deserve a, a very, very subtle uh, reflection. So I'm going to go white. I'm going to go very soft airbrush. There we go. And let me just test. Let me just try. Turn this thing way down. Brand new layer. So let's just see what happens. Oh, it's an eraser. My bad. I'm on brush. 
let's just see what happens. Sometimes if you don't get it correct, you have to do it over and I'll, I'll soon experience that. And I really wanted it soft. A little bit here, but I'm, I'm going to clean it up because you're putting too many curves in. They, they should work together. So you've got this curve right here that I put in. So you kind of want to follow that a little bit. A little bit. You know, it's just so the, the all the folds kind of work together. Now I'm going to go the other side. I'm going to make a new layer in case I screw up. And this is a shadow because the seam kind of presses the fabric together. And I'll turn that down just a wee bit. Okay, so well, let's just zoom out. And then inside here, all the side here, let's just get that. Let's just, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna bring a new layer and I'm just gonna go 100% brush just black that whole sucker in with a, with a hard brush, 100%, because I've got it on this layer, so I'm gonna reduce this layer now, so let's just get this all in. I'm just going to fill it up with the paint bucket and turn it down quite a lot. Okay, so it just adds a little bit of three dimension. Um, okay, so I'm going to merge all of this stuff. Hold on, let's just okay. There's my there's my um, layer right here where it has that. So I'm going to erase out some stuff in here. So I'm going to eraser hard eraser. It's a hard eraser. Oh no, eraser, I need 100%. And I want it hard. Okay, let's get in there. Get in here too. And let's, another layer, I'm just gonna make this black E for brush, just fill that in. One, two. Turn it down. So it's not as so it's not too loud. There we go. And finally, just gonna brush in some just gonna brush in some reflections. And a little bit of white. Choose the pointy brush. Okay, let me just start it where I'm at. Okay, new layer. And this one's going to be one of those brush techniques where I'm going very low. Instead of full blast, I'm going low opacity so I can build this up. So there, you barely see that reflection, but I can start building it up. Barely see it, but there, I can start building it up in certain areas. Also here, barely see it, because my brush is only at 13%, but this is makes it way nicer to just be able to control reflections. And then you're gonna want a little shadow underneath those, those hardwares. So I'm going to go black and I'm going to go like this. I didn't do it very neatly, but it's okay. There. Okay. A little bit underneath here as well, maybe. Under here. And you know, while I'm at it, I might as well just do this inside here and I'm just going to shape this just roughly just to give it some sort of gradient. So 
move it out a little. Under here, might as well start putting in a little bit more. Okay, and then finally, I'm going to do, so as you go inside, inside here, as you go inside there, it gets darker, because as, this, as my silly analogy is, and, you know, you get deeper into the cave, it gets darker. So anyway, so we're going to just blacken this in, and I don't mean blacken it, but we're definitely going to do some, let's see, there, and I will erase out the rest. Okay, that's a little too dark. So let's turn it down a little bit. The subtlest. There we go. And finally, we need some reflections, some more reflections. So here I'm just going to go black and white on one layer. I'm just going to just switch back and forth and just kind of do it quickly. So then for 17, we've got five minutes. Oh, is it 11, 17? Oh, oh, seven. It's 11, 7. So anyway, I'm going to go just black and white, low opacity, and just get in there quick. Just add these highlights. Where all the sun would be reflecting. Right in here. And get in some details like where the hard edges are. Like here. Here. Already got those. Oh, up here. Um, where else? Oh, like, okay, this is important. On your reflections, I mean, on, on that like subtle shading, you're going to want to put some highlights where, where there is reflection. On that leading edge. Okay, and what I'm going to get a little funky now. Just going to add a little cross hatching. And sometimes when you're fed up with using airbrush, you just get into that cross hatching. So here, that looks kind of cool. And a little bit here. I didn't take into account your strap. So, but I could render that too, but I don't have a lot of time, like five minutes. I'll tell you what, five minutes is what I'm gonna do. Full blast. I'm gonna make a hard brush. I'm gonna copy the color. I'm gonna copy this color right here. Test it. Oh, no, I want that color. I'm gonna go. Brush, brush, brush. There's a stupid brush there. Put it hard. Okay, and I'm just going to go in there over everything. And hopefully, it goes over all the white stuff. It's not working. Let's try again. Okay. And well, I kind of made a hair shape of it, but with this, I'm going to turn on the alpha lock, which is this, and I'm going to start shading it black and white. But what I'm doing now is not the purpose of what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to show you how to do these, these um, very subtle kind of curves, this shading. Down. There. A little bit 
darkness up here. Darkness over here. Maybe a little bit of darkness here. All right. Well, I'm pretty much out of time, and I'm sorry I messed up your handle, but did that make was did that make sense, Anthony? Yeah, definitely did. And that's gonna really definitely have to like practice that more because mine I tried keeping up on Procreate and mine didn't come out quite the same. But yeah. Well, here's a, here's the thing, Anthony. As well, you have to be very subtle about your tones because that has too much contrast. Okay. You know. So if, if you're doing, if you're separating, if you have everything separated in layers, tone down everything a little bit. But, oh yeah, and I guess the final conclusion is when you have those floppy bags, make the curves easier to manage, not too ragged, you know? Sounds good. All right, does anyone have any questions? Are we all good? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay then. Well, so homework. What 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 did you give me? What did you give me today? Did you give me how many pages? Because I forgot what we said. Because now I'm saying digital. Five pages of shoes. Oh, five pages. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, then, guys. If you're doing digital, five pages. Um, and if you're doing manual, then seven pages. And I think that sounds fair because digital actually takes a little bit longer. Are you guys all cool with that? Okay, then. Yeah, that's fine. Have a great Tuesday and Wednesday, and I will see you on Thursday morning. Thanks, you too. Yeah, yeah, see you guys. Oh, Brooke, I had one more question. Yeah. Uh, I turned in my homework last week uh, mm -hmm. later in the day. I don't know if yeah. you saw or graded it. Uh, you know what? I haven't. I don't think. I can't remember. So I don't think I've looked at it yet. So no, no problem. Okay. Like I, yeah, I just wanted to let you know. And with my homework due today, I'll, I'm doing the same thing. I have like two more pages sketch and I'll get that in. Awesome. Okay, Anthony. It sounds good, man. All right. Okay. Thank you. Right. Thank oh, Cameron. You. Yeah, yeah. I Cameron? guess it's the same with me. Okay, then. Fair enough. Just send it to me tonight. That'd be great. All right. Okay. Awesome. Have a good one, Cameron. You too. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.